What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? In today's video, we're going to be talking about something that is so highly anticipated, and no, I don't mean my pregnancy. I am talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina eyeshadow palette. Now, I was recently on vacation, and I just got back literally a day ago, and I saw this all over the internet. It was a little sneak peek. It was fucking revealed, and I was like, oh my god, this palette is fucking pretty. But what does it look like in real life? How does it perform? We're gonna test it out today. I have it right here in my hands. I am really excited, bitch, because you know I love an Anastasia moment. Now here is the PR package, and let's open her up. Oh, I feel like rays of like purple light should be shooting out of this right now. This is, of course, the PR package. Let's get this palette out and let's dive in. I am very excited about this one today. Now, if you guys do not know, Norvina, aka Claudia, is one of the owners and is the creative director of Anastasia Beverly Hills. That is Anastasia's daughter. I live for her. She is very creative and she's fun to follow on social media because she is very like about her business. She um, gives a lot of sneak peeks on Twitter about the brand, a lot of like insider information, business advice, and she's just an overall like sick person in the beauty industry. So I'm like, girl, finally you have your own palette. I don't know what to expect today, so we're gonna open this up. We're gonna do a look. I'm thinking of trying out as many shadows as I can. So just like the box of crayons, palette review a few months ago. I may do one eye with some colors and one eye with some more so we can see how they really all perform. This palette does retail for $42 and there is for the first time seven shimmers and seven mattes. Now usually they do not do that so I was pleasantly surprised with that. Now of course here is the unit carton. Just some tidbits. This is... are we cruelty free? Bitch, we are cruelty free. Yes, of course. Um, this palette is not vegan but there are 14 whimsical shades ranging from bold to bright mattes to soft pastel shimmers. These shadows have 0.71 grams, which is very standard for them. And girl, we all know what an Anastasia palette looks like by now. We all have modern renaissance in our makeup kits. Let's keep it really real. Now, this does have the feel of a modern renaissance palette. It is like that soft, like velvet felt. It feels so yummy. I'm just like, ah. Now let's get to what y'all want to hear about, the inside. Now here is what she looks like. Of course it comes with a plastic protector so the shades are protected from everything. And of course the mirror as well, which you can peel this right off. So everything is fucking fresh, honey. Now, as you see, there is a whole entire row of shimmers and then the whole bottom row is mattes. Now I think the shade that everyone on the internet was gagging, breathing, and choking on was right here, Soul which is a beautiful, I'm scared to say like the colors because I don't want to get it wrong, but to me it's like a eggplant periwinkle hybrid and it just looks amazing. I'm like get on my whole entire lower lash line right now. Now of course as you see this palette does come with a blending brush. Let's pop this one out. This one actually works. There's a lot of palettes where it's like girl, was the brush necessary? Um, no, it's not at all. But this one actually works and it's a dual end so if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of makeup brushes, girl you get a brush every time you buy one of their palettes. Love that. I don't know what I'm gonna create. We're just gonna wing it and try as many shades as we can. And I will do some swatches as well so we can really see what is about to happen. Okay, I really wanna just dive into the shade first. So let's do that. I'm gonna take the brush out for a minute so it doesn't fall out. Now let's dive into shade Soul. <gasps> Ooh, hi. Okay, I have to just swatch this right here in my hand. Oh wow. Ooh, girl, we're talking like full coverage. That color like literally looks like Norvina as like a person. Like when I think of her, I think of her stunning violet hair, the purple, the hues. She's like the epitome of like a unicorn almost. Like she's just very like, ugh. I love that. Um, now I'm also dying to touch Wild Child. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Now I know people have had opinions about some of their palettes before um, with formulas and blah, blah, blah. This, let's put this next to it. So of course, every palette is gonna be different, but I know that this formula is consistent with the modern Renaissance formula. So I am very excited for that. Look how duochromy and just pretty that is. I wanna like put that in the inner corner, put it on the brow bone. Okay, let's do one more before we dive in. Which shade am I living for? I mean, Celestial is pretty fucking bomb, honey. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Let's give her a little swatch. Oh wow, that's like full unicorn fantasy. Okay, I mean these are right there are a look. All right, before we get started, they have new lip glosses out. This shade is called Venus. I feel a little weird and naked without anything on my lips, so let me just slap this on. So just touch my nose because I was like really into the smell. <sighs> Yummy. Okay, let's put this on. <laughs> 
Ooh, come on dimension. I don't feel like a naked mole rat anymore. Now, like I do in every review, I am going to prime my lids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot right here. Most of us prime our lids. If you don't, no worries, you do not have to. But I love doing that just so there's no creasing or anything throughout the day. And I am gonna bring this up above my brow bone. I know Anastasia Beverly Hills is very well known for their brow products, which I love and adore. But honey, we don't believe in eyebrows on this channel for 2018, so I've probably worn them like once or twice. So I'm so sorry Anastasia, please don't slap me. Okay, so I just saw this stunning picture of Claudia and I'm like honey We gotta like do one eye like that. That is so pretty So I'm gonna do one eye with some like five shades and then maybe the other eye with another five shades So we can try to get like most of them down So I am going to dip into shade eccentric right here with the little Mac 217 brush And we're just gonna dive in right to there and coat the brush girl the brush is coated and it looks really great So let me grab my Lavender mirror and let's pop eccentric right into our crease Yeah, such an easy like crease color I know a lot of you are really gonna gravitate towards this shade and I do not blame you BAM obviously you guys saw that blended out very easy So I'm gonna just add in a little more right in here And we're not gonna do the whole lid because there's a lot of color going on in there in a minute All right, so there is a centric laid down very cute now. It says they use what else passion in the crease Ooh, okay, so passion is this color right here. It looks stunning. I'm gonna use the same brush and just dive into there for a minute. Let's give her a little pop right in there. Not all the way across, just a little in there. Ooh, yes. All right, now I do wanna know, I've never had this issue before in my entire life with my personal skin, but recently, if you've been following me on Snapchat or IG stories, you know that I have a little bit of eczema on my eye in my fold, so Right there, you guys, I have a crazy red patch that I have been trying to get rid of. So the eyeshadow is obviously blending amazing, but I do have this weird little patch right there. So if the eyeshadow sticks or looks a little weird, um, hi eczema, how are you doing, girl? So recently I bought this stuff. I'm just gonna talk about it in the video. This may help other people. So I bought this stuff online. Let me go back to my story here. Okay, so it's called Eczema Honey, and it is all natural, miracle healing bacteria fighting this whole thing right I literally got it um, today it's in the freezer and I've used it once I think I need to use it like 10 more times so I don't know why maybe you guys can give me some advice in the comment section down below but I've never had this issue and it's not an ingrown hair I know that's gonna be a lot of people's like well girl you shave your eyebrows I don't know what is going on um, shadow still sticks to it but it can kind of cause it to look a little bizarre so had to throw that out there in case you guys were like girl what is going on all right so now let's go back into the review passion and eccentric are blending amazing I'm just gonna take eccentric and go around and just buff and blend that out all right now I'm gonna go in with shade wild child right here this gorgeous pink metallic that we swatched earlier and I'm gonna go in with a little synthetic Mac brush a little 242 if you will and let's just coat our brush and see what happens we love a reflective shadow, yes. Okay, so let's just pack that all over the lid. I'm just gonna throw a little glitter on my eczema and just call it a day. Bam, okay, this color, girl, stunning. All right, now we're gonna go in with this gorgeous purple metallic right here. I have been dying to touch the shade. Okay, the pigment went on the brush, amazing. So I am just going to Pack this right in here and let's just mix and match. Ooh, wow, these colors mixed look so pretty. There's a tiny bit of fallout, so I'm gonna quickly grab a brush and just go like that. Oh, hi, bam. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with shade Passion right here and just barely touch it. And I'm just gonna press it right here on the end just so it kind of gives my lid a little bit of more pop. And I'm just gonna try to go right over my little eczema patch and bam, okay. Now we're gonna take this brush with no product on it and just kind of go over that. And then we're just gonna drag that in just so there's a little bit of darkness right there. Oh wow. Okay, these shimmer shadows are really bomb. I didn't know what to expect, but they 
pop. I'm like, ooh, yes, honey, that lid is like glass. All right, now for under the eye, you guys know I've been dying to try shade Soul. So let me go in with a little Tom Ford pencil brush and let's really coat our brush, which high pigment, it's completely coated already. And I'm just gonna drag this along my entire lash line. I think this video needs this moment. I am so excited. Oh, wow, it's so pigmented. I think I dug in a little too deep. Now there's a lot of people talking about this shade online. They weren't sure how it really looked in person. Lighting was a little off for some people in some of the photos. I gotta say though, this shade is stunning. All right, now I'm gonna take this blending brush and dive into Soul just by itself. And I am going to take this shade and just lightly kind of drag it and smoke it out so it's even more dramatic. Hi, we need some drama. Now, this shade is very unique and I just love how it looks. Like, I wanna put it on my lid, I wanna put it on my ass, I wanna put it everywhere. Ooh, and then we're just gonna take it and just kind of go like that. Bam, ooh, this is a moment, like. Hashtag, this is a moment. Hashtag, iconic. Hashtag, clock it to the house, rich luxe. Hashtag, can't relate. Wow, this is really pretty. All right, let me dive in again. And let me just really smoke this out like it's me and Nate in the bong. Bam, love that. Now, I think it's definitely time for a little eyeliner before I even go to the other eye and add more. So I'm gonna take a little MAC Smolder eye pencil, eye coal pencil. And I'm just going to, excuse me, I'm looking in a mirror down here. I'm just gonna pop that in there and try not to stab my eye out. I think it's time to try out another shade. All right, I'm kind of living and breathing for this look already. So I really wanna try out shade Dreamer over here. Let's just dive in with our fingers. Ooh, wow, that feels so soft and pretty. Woo! All right, so let's just swatch this right here. Bam, oh wow, hi. This is so reflective, I'm a little shook. I don't know if they added some more pearls to this palette, but look at that. It's like literal like champagne glass. Okay, so I really wanna put that color just kinda like on my brow bone. You guys know I'm living for the alien look this year. I am an alien. My mom called me an alien when I was a little boy. We're here. So we're gonna take a little Morphe Y14 brush and we're just gonna lightly just barely touch into there. Oh wow, this brush picks up a lot of pigment. And then we're just going to lightly just kinda put that right on the brow bone. Oh wow, and this is gonna give you that wet, stunning, metallic look. Now this shade did have a lot more fallout than the others, but I think it's the brush, because when I dipped into Wild Child and over here, and this one, it did not have that much fallout. So I think this brush is a little much, but I'm barely touching it. It is fully coating the brush, um, but that one did have a little bit more fallout than the rest. Now let me just add on to this a little bit more. And this is gonna give you that insane, gorgeous, wet, smoky airbrush look, which sums up my existence. All right, so we have used six shades on this eye, and I'll be honest, I didn't know what to expect yet, but so far, so good. Loving how this is turning out. So now, let's turn, I'm gonna move my booty this way. Now, ooh, girl, I really wanna try this shade base, which is the nude one over here. It's the lightest, if you will. I love a good base, so let me use, what are we gonna use, girl? Let's go in with this little brush, and let's just pack this on my lid. Let's see what it looks like. Yes, an easy color to lay down, and just coat your entire lid and brow bone if you want to. I love that moment, because it's easy to just just blend everything else once the light shade is down. And there's no eczema on this side of my eye. Thank you, Jesus. All right, that is really cute. It's very brightening, and I love that so far. Easy peasy, bam! All right, now we're gonna dive into shade Incense over here, which is kind of like a darker version of Eccentric, a little bit more like very cool tone, which I live for. No one's doing cool toned eyeshadow palettes. I'm like, hi everyone, we've seen warm tone so much. I don't think anyone else could make another warm tone palette. So I was very excited for this color story. Ooh, hi honey. The shade is like, good morning. All right, now this shade had a little bit more fallout than the other mattes, but not too extreme. I think the color is really beautiful and it blended out very nice. This is kind of like one of those shades where you could 
literally wear these two and some lashes and like be good to go. So we love a palette that's versatile, but I'm dying to play in this volatile shade. So let's grab a clean brush, if you will, and let's dive into that. This is a Morphe 433 brush, and we're gonna dive in right here. This shade looks stunning. It's a very cool tone, and I'm like, yes, girl. Let's just deepen our crease and add a little bit more depth. Okay, the shade Incense with this mixed looks very cute, hi. All right, then we're gonna go in with shade Base over here, and we're just gonna hit that once or twice, and then go over what we already did, so it's very airbrush looking. All right, now we're going to dive into shade Rose Gold right here. I am dying to play with this one. Ooh, it looks pretty. Okay, so we're just gonna give it a little different vibes over here and let's just see what it looks like. Now, as you guys see, I'm just doing little packing motions. I'm not just like putting it everywhere. We're literally just, here, I'll hold this up. We're just like pressing in like that and then we're just pressing on the lid, direct contact. We're not gonna take it all the way over because we are gonna leave some dimension right there and we're gonna add some shadow in a second, but this shade, ooh! All right, now I am dying to try. I think I'm saying that about every shade. I have to stop, sorry you guys. Ma new makeup gets me off. I know that a lot of you feel the same way. Okay, so let's dive into shade Summer right here. It is a stunning gold um, color. I miss it come. Okay, so it looks something like this. I'm gonna do a little swatch right here. Ooh, God, they're so reflective. Okay, let's dive into summer. One, two, three, and bam. All right, I'm really packing it on so there isn't some fallout, which you guys know I don't mind. I have had way worse. All you gotta do is quickly go bam, brush it off, and it literally left no residue. All right, now we're gonna dip into Volatile, bam, one more time. And we're just gonna add a little bit right here just so it all flows just like the other side. All right, now I definitely think we need some under eye action. This side was just so stunning. But there is this shade in here called Love, which is like a, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like pinky, it's kind of coral. Let's take it with a clean finger and give it a whirl. What, what would you guys say this is? Whatever it is, it looks really cute. All right, so let's dip into her and let's see what happens. Now I did use a packer brush on the other side, which worked way better, so I don't know why I didn't do that again. All right, I quickly just cleaned the brush I used for Soul, and let's go back into Love. This is a unique shade. I don't really see brands making matte colors like this, but what do you guys think about the color story in general? Are you living for an Anastasia palette? I know so many of you are obsessed with them, including myself. I've had a lot of hits, only a few misses on this channel. You never know with brands what is gonna come next. And I think Anastasia Beverly Hills is one of those brands that always delivers the heat, is what I like to call it. Like they know what their consumer wants. They're constantly putting out products and they have like grown so massively in the last two years. It's exciting or really like what? from the last five years to now, just like, like the growth is insane. So congrats to them, honey. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with this brush and we're just gonna coat it real quickly and let's smoke it out just like the other side. All right, now just like this side, I'm gonna pop in some black liner. Sorry, I have to look in my mirror over here and I'm just gonna pop that right in my waterline like the other side and just give it an added little uh. all right so i think it's definitely time for some mascara um but i used every shade in this palette except dazzling and drama so before we even do mascara i do want to touch those quickly we got dazzling right there and then we have drama i have a dog named drama hi <laughs> so let's do drama right here oh wow that is a very gorgeous color Okay, and then let's do Dazzling. Bam, hi. I mean, those two together though. Wow, these swatches look amazing. I can't wait to, of course, try these in another video. 
But overall, I think we got a lot of shades in this look. So for mascara today, we're gonna go in with the brand new Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This of course hit the market a few months ago. I am obsessed with it. Can't stop using it. They finally just released this mini version, Love It For Travel. Still feels like a heavy, amazing component, which I love, and the brush is still fat and delicious. All right, these lashes are lifted. I love it so far, wow. Okay, now I know I normally would throw on some lashes if I really wanted to finish this look, but you know I love to show off shadows. I think for an eyeshadow palette review, I don't want to really cover up the work. I want you guys to be able to see all times these colors. Look at my lids though. Okay, I'm not mad at this look at all. But there's no shimmer on this brow bone and it's kind of giving me like I need to do it. So let's go in. I was gonna touch dazzling, but I think it's way too dark to be on the brow bone. So let's go in one more time with Dreamer and we're just gonna lightly dust her on top. Hi, honey. Wow, that is beautiful. All right, only thing I wanna add is of course a little fix plus to my skin. Come on, hydration. Now, I want to dive in quickly with the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and just give my cheeks an extra little, like, va va voom if you will. Now, let's go in with Purple Horseshoe right here and Pink Heart, and I'm just gonna kind of do my own little cocktail moment. And, hi, how are you? Ooh, okay. I almost looked and I'm like, oh, there's no mirror there, Jeffrey. Come back to Earth, we knew that. All right, you guys, I think that this look is complete. Now it's time to give my final thoughts and my real first impressions on the Norvina palette. Now obviously I really didn't know what I was walking into. I didn't know what kind of formula this palette was gonna have. I will say this. This palette is very consistent. The mattes are beautiful. The shimmer shadows are stunning. It may be my favorite shimmer like color story that they've ever done thus far. Um, I can't stop looking at my lids. I keep like closing this eye and then closing this one and going back and forth and I feel really pretty and I love when a palette can make you feel like, ah, and just inspire you just to get creative and have fun. Now, I think that a lot of you are going to be obsessed with this palette. I know a lot of you were waiting for this review, so whenever you guys wait for me to try something before buying it, I really appreciate that. I love that you can trust me because there's some shady bitches out there. But as you guys can see, this palette blended amazing on the eyes. Every shadow, obviously we didn't try these two, but every other shadow performed great. Um, of course, there was some heavy fallout on a few of these, especially Dreamer and Love, but overall it wasn't crazy where I was like, oh girl. Um, it was very consistent and great. Like, I am really happy with this palette. I've had a lot of rough patches on this channel lately with some things just going a little raw and array and raw. but uh, <laughs> the Norvina palette slays. I didn't know what to expect from her, but girl, she came with the fire. So, um, you guys, Sound off down below. Let me know what you think. What do you think about this look? What do you think about the shadows, the formula, everything? I want to know your thoughts. But I will say this right now that the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette is Jeffree Star approved. I really love everything about it. Now you guys know I am not the biggest fan of the soft touch packaging. It does feel really nice, but it does get really dirty quickly over time. Um, if you don't mind that, great. My Modern Renaissance has um, a mess all over it, but I like dirty makeup. Is that weird? I love when people like just have a mess everywhere and like you use and go heavy in a palette. I love when people tweet me pictures and there's like literally like no product left in a pan. Why does that get me off? I need to see my psychologist. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching another first impressions review. I hope this helped you if you are going to get this or if you're not. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next review. And if there's anything crazy that you guys want me to try, sound off below. I want to know what the tea is. There is so many products and launches coming up. I can't wait to see what the makeup community has in store for us next. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. See you on the next one. Mwah.